everybody. Welcome back to 10 on YouTube. It's me, Left Party Star. And if you think I don't exist, who gives a f what you think? Now, uh, here's Tyler right here. And he's sleeping. <sighs> ah! Are you. Eh, what are you doing here? They're here for your review on The Amanda Show. The Amanda Show? Uh huh. You were watching some videos of it earlier before. Oh, okay. Get out of here. Whatever. Uh, okay, now, uh, where's the start? I mean, The Amanda Show is one of my favorite TV shows. It's not my top five, to be honest, but it's still a great show. It's created by Dan Schneider, the same creator of other Nickelodeon shows, like Carly, Drake and Josh, and the new Sam and Cat, and the kind of rumored Gibby, which I'm pretty which is probably not going to happen. Yeah, I had to charge my eye touch. Anyway, now, the Amanda show was, uh, the skits, is the skits, skits, sketched show. It's skits, it's a skits show. Based, it's based from all that. Yeah, all of that was, all that was a sketch, sketch show. Sketch show. I certainly am not doing it. I already cleaned up my pee before. Anyway. Now, uh... Thank you. Finally, Alex is doing it. Uh, sorry for that interruption, people. Uh, this tends to happen a lot. Anyway. Um, it's ba is all that is all that had Amanda Bynes in it, actually. She was one of the stars, I think. And she ended up getting her own spin-off show called The Amanda Show. It's it has it has skits like the most known Judge Trudy. It has Mr. Oldman, my favorite. It has um When Blank Attacks uh, Attack. Like he just pissed that he has to clean up Molly's mess. Like he always cleans up Molly's mess, which is bullcrap. Another typical day of dealing with Alex's annoyance. Anyway, there are all the other skits like uh, um, the Klutzes, Totally Kyle, Block Bleaster, Mister Gullibles, etc. There's also there's also there was also some game show kinds kind of sketches like like uh, so you won win five dollars and stranded stranded only happened twice. It was also the girls' room and. Uh, these some wine time sketches like um cooking with Amanda and um what's it called? Oh, yeah, the literals. I love the literals. Spit it out. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway. Now there's also this other skit that has this reoccurring character that only that only didn't appear in one episode of the Amanda show. It's actually played by Amanda Bynes, if you didn't know. Her name is Penelope Taint, who has to be no who happens to be known as Amanda's number one fan, please. She tends to say please a lot. And her and her number one dream is to meet Amanda Bynes, but she never really does. Oh, I forgot this one skit called uh, Moody's Point which got can which got cancelled over a cliffhanger. Sad, right? Yeah, the Amanda show got canceled for unknown reasons. It only got three seasons and forty episodes. I have to say, it's extremely funny. At one point, it was my favorite. It 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 was a very it was so funny. It was unbelievable. Excuse me. Excuse me. I love the Amanda show. It's a really great TV show. It's a really great show. It aired on Nickelodeon. It was back in the days when Amanda Bynes was sane. Hearing all these. Things that ha that's been happening to Amanda Bynes these days, it's just so wrong. I mean, Amanda Bynes was in freaking Robots, you know, the, the 2005 computer animated movie that starred, what's his name, that voiced Rodney Cumberbottom. You know that movie, right, from 20th Century Fox and Blue Sky Studios? Amanda Bynes was in it, voicing Piper? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Piper. The yellow, the yellow, um, robot that's Fender's little sister and has a crush on Rodney. She first appeared when she found Wonderbot. Now back back to the Amanda show. I'd say, like I said before, the funniest, my favorite skits are Mr. Oldman. 
It's about this old. It's about this elderly, gullible man that hates kids named Mr. Oldman. First name is never revealed. I don't think he has a middle name. Shut up, Lefty Stark. Get out of here. Sorry. He's actually played by Dan Schneider himself, which I find really shocking. Stand on you two. See, I always know when there's a Ten on YouTube episode. Great. Looks like we have him on here again. Hey, I'm your brother. Patrick's always busy. Mom and Dad are always busy. I'm the only one you've got. You've never had a special guest except me. Uh, yeah, I have. Like who? For... I'm pretty... I do remember I did once... I did once make an episode at Zach's house. Remember? For my World Series party. Okay, anyway. Do you know what I'm doing? Something blah 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 with the blocks. Break. Alex approves this message. It's not over yet. Now, if you'll excuse me, I gotta go finish my. Don't end it. I'm not finished. I wasn't going to. I was gonna t do this. Okay. Hands. Oh my god, my hand looks pink. It. The camera tends. Ca camera tends to do. The, a camera tends to do that. <laughs> God, he left. I am really sick and tired of him appearing on the show. He always seems to tends to be annoying during it. Anyway, back to the Amanda show. I I love the Mr. Oldman sketches. Anyway, back to the old Mr. Oldman sketches. There's this girl that played by Amanda Bynes that pranks calls this guy named Mr. Oldman about stuff like ordering cheese and ask and also ordering zebras from this farmer. Excuse me. Also, asking a question to win a million dollars and asking for pizza. Excuse me. Oh, God. And then there's also, you know, credit card and, you know. Hi, who's... Hi, who's calling? You are! Hello? There's also this kind of very funny meme or so. You know the Call Me Maybe song? Everyone knows the Call Me Maybe song by Carly Rae Jepsen. Apparently, in the part it with "I hey, I just met you," and this is crazy, but my, here's my number. Then, then you could hear Mr. Oldman saying, "Hello, hello, who is this? You have the wrong number. Hello." I can kind of do a good voice of him. I'm not the best at it, Mr. M Dan Schneider's obviously the best at it. I'm not the best at it, but I'm kind of good at it. Yeah, I I love the Amanda Show. I I I love it's very I I and I also love Penelope Tana Tane. I love at the weirdest part she can say please. Like in one episode where her little brother um, what's his name? What the hell was his name? I can't really snap very loud. What the hell was his name? I know I know Penelope Tana's a little brother, but I forgot what his name was. He can't be Shannon or something. Anyway, he asks he asks. Penelope, will you make me a sandwich? And and Penelope's like, no, please. I love that. Like, no, please. Work made up. I must meet Amanda. Please. Amanda, please. Oh, one more thing. Penelope, Penelope Tane has a, has a tattoo of Amanda on her stomach. Awkward, right? Totally awkward. She even there's, there's also this recurring character as an officer that first appeared in season two. His name is Barney. He's very funny. I I love that he has this obsession over food. I mean, one this fact. In fact, here's a hint. Here's a fact for you if you don't know. Drake Bell and Josh Peck and Nancy Sullivan, who are three per people who appeared in Drake and Josh, were in this show. In fact, well, Josh Peck didn't appear until season two. He first appeared in the Block Bleaster um sketch where uh where he where he was one of those good boys good boys saying uh that he got this mo movie that you you know. Pretty sure it was Snow Day or something. He's so in that mood. So let me conclude saying that the Amanda Show is a really great show, and I wish they would bring it back on on air. I would really love that. They don't even show it on '90s all over that. I don't even think they re. They wrote, they don't even air reruns on a TV on the Teen Nick anymore. I find it stupid. Although I can I I think I think the only reason why they're doing that is because of how psychotic or bad Amanda Bynes really been. I mean, I mean, it's like if she diseased Miley Cyrus for that.
Oh, great. They're gonna start fighting. I'm gonna sign off now. Good thing I was gonna sign off. So, see you next time on 10 on YouTube. Bye.